Yo, what is going on, you Ninja Nita Ryan? Today, playing some games with Rillaboom Mewtwo. And that's right, we don't play any draw supporters in this deck. No research, no Marnie. I guess we do play the one Caitlyn and Cynthia, but I don't know if I really count that as a... I mean, it's a supporter that draws cards, but also recovers a supporter. So it's a recovery supporter supporter that happens to draw cards, not a draw supporter. Um, so yeah, no draw supporters in this list. I took this list to a top uh, eight finish in the Glimwood LCQ the other day. Went undefeated in Swiss, 7-0 in Swiss, uh, one top 16, and then I lost to an ADP in top eight, unfortunately. Um, but can't win them all. Uh, but yeah, deck super sick. Uh, despite the lack of draw supporters, so I definitely, guys, you definitely recommend you guys check out this build of Rillaboom that has no draw supporters. Um, we really rely heavily on the tag call engine. Of course, we play four tag call and then three mountain Lana, two goes Mahala. Uh, the one Caitlyn Cynthia, like I mentioned, and then we do play some Boston here, of course. Uh, and one of the reasons, you know, this can work so efficiently is Mount Lana is such a powerful card in this deck. Guz Mahala is our early game supporter. And then we only really need boss from there. And then to help us out, draw some extra cards throughout the game. We've got that Krikatune in here, the Krikatune V with the exciting stage, which combos specifically very well with Malwan Lana because we can switch into it and if we've got the air balloon on it or even if we want to harder treat it we can use exciting stage to draw that extra card which it draws up to four cards if it's in the active spot uh, only three if it's on the bench so we can Malwan Lana into it draw that extra card treat it and then attack with whatever we want to whatever we plan on attacking with on the following turn uh, a couple changes that I've considered making making that I haven't made quite yet is would be adding in a Two prize attacker like a cramorant or a dub wool i just haven't gotten around to figuring out what i want to cut for that really to be honest i still don't know what i want to cut for but yeah a dub wool or a cramorant would be super cool and then a card that i've been seeing a couple other lists play that i don't play so i play no energy recovery i don't play the ordinary rods most people play like two ordinary rod i saw pedro playing the energy recycler recently which i thought was cool as well um currently i'm just rocking 10 grass energy because that's like the most consistent um way to play it because you just have the energy in the deck which is early on uh, early in the early game in the mid game just better than having an energy recovery card because you have to like find the energy recovery card and then find the energy that you recovered whereas just having the energy is you just have the energy and um for my games yesterday i didn't really feel like i needed any more energy but if you added like a two prize attacker and plan to consistently use it in games so that's like another attacker you need a lot of energy on so i could see using it or wanting to play it then but um felt pretty good with it just the 10 basic grass energy for sure um and yeah that's the list that's the build don't really have too much more to say on it so i think uh we should go ahead and get to some games all right here we go getting into our first game here game here we have the mewtwo start but sometimes we actually don't want to start mewtwo but we can go ahead and open it anyways yeah sometimes we don't want to but my opponent chose to go first so i don't think there's any real mewtwo deck that likes going first so i think this is probably gonna be a fine starter here our opponent is playing probably adp zation our opening hand is very much okay we don't have a whole ton going on in this hand um and actually if the other rillaboom is prized we could definitely be in trouble and not be able to get out of turn one rillaboom so let's see what happens with that um and here comes the intrepid sword uh, so it's probably adp but i guess we'll find out for sure in a little bit here see what we top deck here it's a grass energy i'm gonna quick ball away route lone executor check the deck the rillaboom is there we don't have much else going on in the hand. I could just grab the Grookey here and then evolve it up to the Rillaboom, but then with nothing else to follow up, it could get kind of airy. But I guess we're just going to go for it here. Going to grab the Grookey, throw it down, attach active, and then go ahead. Uh, we could reset stamp as well, but reset stamp for the late game is a little bit better, but they do have an eight card hand. We do play two reset stamp. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Cut that hand down a little bit. I don't want to commit the air balloon to the Grookey yet either, because actually in this matchup, the big charm on the Rillaboom can be super big because they're going to GX attack with ADP. Um, and then they usually get an ultimate ray off. And then on our next turn, we plan to use that uh, Tropical Hour GX. But if our opponent, uh, you know, GX attacks, they can actually boss KO my Rillaboom. On that turn, we give them the ultimate ray. So we really want to get that big charm here. And if they get like a Brave Blade boss KO our Rillaboom, there's nothing we can really do about that. And they just kind of get that play and we just kind of have to scrap it together from there. But that's where it just gets kind of rough, to be honest. Uh, and we do play two big charms. So even though they have this Rusted Sword on this Zacian, we can get a big charm on the Mewtwo and a big charm on the Rillaboom to protect our Mewtwo from getting the one hit KO'd by that Brave Blade. Uh, and it looks like they're also playing Crushing Hammer, which makes things a lot worse for us, to be honest, because um, oh, there's a Marnie. We like to see that. It makes it a lot worse for us because it's hard for us to get to that six energy sometimes. Um, and if we can't get to that six energy, we can really be in big trouble. So this one might be pretty rough. We'll see. Um, they've already found that Rusted Sword. There is our big charm. So that's great. Um, and we can put that on our Rillaboom, like I said, to protect it from the ultimate Ray KO, which it looks like they're setting up into very well here um, as they get the GX attack off here. Um, yeah, there's the Alter Creation. I don't really want to put Dedene on my bench um, or Dede change here. And I don't think I'll need to. 
Uh, I'm just going to go with that voltage beat, get out to grass. Probably fine to put the weakness guard energy down here. Uh, throw the big charm here to protect from ultimate ray. And we're just going to go ahead and hit with that calming hurricane. And there's a couple things that could go really, really wrong here. Our opponent could Brave Blade knock out my Mewtwo, or they could have Tool Scrapper Boss knock out my Rillaboom. They could Escape Rope Brave Blade knock out my Rillaboom. There's a couple things. Yeah, there's a couple things that could go really, really badly here for us. And we just kind of have to hope they don't happen. Um, so our opponents had like a really clean setup so far. They already found their Rusted Sword, which usually is just like a one of. They got the extra energy hit off the Intrepid Sword, I believe. Or there was a Metal Saucer, so I guess not. Um, so they've gone Attach, Attach, plus the, uh, the energy. But it looks like they're settling into an Ultimate right here, which is exactly what we want to see happen. And yeah, that's what they're going for here. The Ultimate Ray is exactly what we want to see happen. Um, because now we can just go Tropical Hour GX. And then we can take away all of their energy in play. And we just hope that they aren't able to reset their energy on the next turn and get a knockout. We hope that it takes them a little bit more time to do that. We'd actually like to Mellow and Lana here as well, um, which I might go for. So we're going to go ahead and go Cherish Ball. Grab myself the Dragonite, which is the next best follow-up attacker. Because if we Mellow and Lana here, that means Mawile can't get the KO on my Mewtwo. Um, so I'm going to attach active Voltage Beat or one we also need to hit an air balloon though as well so we might whiff that but uh i think it's worth going for we'll see what we get one two three four five six found it out to the mountain i did not find a way to move my mewtwo back into the active though and actually wait if i didn't bench this now they're doing wait maybe i just shouldn't have benched that and then we would have been fine <laughs> maybe i just messed that up right now they're doing 70 100 so if i actually just get a big charm off this we should be fine i'm gonna go ahead and play this cherish ball um grab myself the vile plume to discard and i'll tag call and grab myself like the other there's no other guzman hala okay, so i think i just messed that up uh <laughs> i should have played it that way we could just put the bit if i didn't bench the pokemon they could have put the, if they maw wild they'll put my Dedenne on the bench so i guess maybe it is still better i played it this way because if they maw wild they'll put my Dedenne on the bench okay so you know what i played it correctly i did it right let's go uh tag call here um wondrous labyrinth oh we could have played for the wondrous labyrinth as well here actually i probably should have played for that now i can't put it in play because i didn't put the extra energy here on my mewtwo i was like one one that should be fine i don't want to like waste energy but thinking about it now i would have liked the extra energy on my mewtwo there but for these two i think uh and i'm just gonna guzma hollow away the chaotic swell because if my opponent plays the stadium it's probably a chaotic swell so uh, maybe I should not put the Mewtwo in the hand, though, because now my opponent knows there's a Mewtwo there, so now they could Mawile it onto the bench. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken the Mewtwo there. Okay, once again, another mistake coming out from me. Uh, so I could have put the extra energy here. I So I could have played for the Wonders Labyrinth in play, which means my opponent needs another energy. Um, so you guys are picking up what I'm putting down here, I think, though, as far as my mistakes go. <laughs> quite a few of them. Not going to lie, we've made quite a few mistakes here. Or I've made quite a few. I'm not going to throw you guys in with me here on this one. Um, I've made quite a few mistakes here. But we're still in it, and they could very much whiff. So what I should have done, ooh, we got this off the prize card, which is a pretty big deal, because now we can actually attack with Buzzmosa this turn. Um, well, we got a bunch of basics anyway, so I guess I'm getting knocked out no matter what. We weren't able to set up the Malamana play. That's not a Mawile, so that's a good thing to see. It could it could be prize still. They haven't drawn any prize cards yet, so it could definitely be prize. Uh, and the Dead Exchange, I believe it... Oh, I thought I discarded another Metal Saucer. No. What was the discard there? It looked like a Metal Saucer. It was a Zacian. Um, but yeah, definitely should have played for the Wonders Labyrinth play here. I don't know what I was thinking on that. Definitely should have been... I'll put the Wonder Labyrinth or or try to put the Wonder Labyrinth in play. There's a boss on my Dedenne, so they're playing it a little bit slow here, which is a really good sign for us. It means my opponent doesn't have a whole ton going on. Um, so yeah, really good sign for us. And uh, we should just be able to go like hard retreat. And I can even go boss knockout on that Zacian with the Sky Judgment. Um, and take the energy out of play, take out that Zacian, uh, and just kind of go from there, I think. So I can even capture out the um tune has some follow-up draw support here i think as well and then we can uh voltage beats for two energy onto the fresh mewtwo got another energy in there to work with uh retreat i don't want to get too far ahead of myself with the wondrous labyrinth but it should work out okay i think um and then we're gonna boss ko the station because the only thing that has energy on it in play and i don't want my opponent to have energy we have access to that sky judgment yeah this is this is the kind of play we are looking for here yeah, so I shouldn't have put that Mewtwo in my hand, because like I said, it, it kind of opens up my opponent to Mawile it onto my bench. We drew into two basics off our prize cards, so... Um, I mean, we hit three basics prize, so we were likely to draw into a basic. So you know what, to be honest, maybe it just didn't matter <laughs> that I benched it. Uh, if I had checked my prize cards, I would be like, well, I got a ton of prize cards prized. Um, <laughs> and there's the concede from my opponent. Are we defeat the ADP? Uh, and that's usually how our games go. That is our game plan. That one worked out to a T or whatever people say. Um... 
that's basically what you expect to happen what you want to happen as simple as that uh yeah simple as that you go 150 to the adp they ultimate ray ugx attack removal their energy they whiff an attack for a turn hopefully sometimes they don't that's where it gets scary usually they whiff an attack and then you go into the dragonite or whatever just start cleaning up from there except the second mewtwo and even if they take that knockout on the following turn you're gonna be able to close it out easy peasy all right we're back at it uh lost the coin flip but hopefully our opponent feels like going first and they do which is perfect for us because we like to go second our opening hand is a mulligan looks like they mulligan as well so we'll have a little bit of an idea of what our opponent uh has going on here uh we got the let's see <laughs> looks like another adp to me all right so we're up against another adp i mean yeah it's not a huge surprise to be honest because adp is pretty popular they mulligan again though so huge for us an extra card to work with can't be mad at that once again crushing hammer adp though we don't like that we definitely don't like crushing hammers in our our opponent's adps because that's just kind of annoying just to deal with there's the crowbat start we have a lot of energy in the hand pretty much too, almost too much energy actually to be honest like this is not we don't like this much energy in our hand uh, hopefully they maw wild turn one though they see that you know we've kind of drawn a lot of cards uh maybe they'll go for that turn one mawile i would love it if they did that means we don't have to worry about it for the rest of the game especially knowing you know if they do it right now it just doesn't hit anything so love to see my opponent do it they don't do it unfortunate and we draw to another uh <laughs> energy off the top okay gonna grab their alone executor gonna grab the Guzmahala. boomer line is in the deck um let's take another look over here stadiums are there as well i don't really want a wondrous labyrinth though I mean, they don't have a, they do have a metal energy in their combat, actually. They don't have a ton of cards in hand. I don't really want to Wondrous Labyrinth this early. The problem with Wondrous Labyrinth this early is that, uh, I mean, it's just not that good. <laughs> it's like, maybe we'll have to like replace it ourselves on the following turn. Do we have the second Guzma Hall in here? I could just take double Guzma Hall here. Um, and then Cherish Ball for the, uh, Grookey. I kind of want to bench the other Mewtwo to play around Escape Rope, though. We did see that they play Escape Rope. But I think I want to do this. No, no, I need this. I need this. We're going to grab these two. We're going to grab these two. Um, does Mahala away the Weakness Guard Energy and the... Uh, this thing, I think. Makes the most sense to me. We have to give up some energy at some point here. The hand is just too clogged with energy. Uh, grab the Big Charm, the Capture. And... We need the Big Charm to protect the... Well, what's it called? Um... I'm gonna grab the Wonders Labyrinth. I don't know if I wanna put it in play though. So grab these three. Capture out the Grookey. Um, I mean, we could put it out there. It's just like not the best because uh, they get some Crushing Hammer heads and then we're just kind of in a tough spot. That's the problem here is that they, we know they play the Crushing Hammers. So it gets awkward from there. Um, I do want to, like I said, I, I want second Mewtwo on my bench. I think I'm going to throw this here just in case they Marnius next turn. Yeah, I want second Mewtwo on my bench. I mean, I don't want to make it super easy for them to get off the GX attack next turn, but I want to make sure I can attack on the following turn. Um, that's kind of like the, the situation we're in right now is like, we want to make sure we can attack next turn as well. Um... Cherish Ball. I think I'm just going to grab the Mewtwo itself here. And once again, I'm still debating on this Wondrous Labyrinth play. I'm leaning towards it more and more. Uh, let's not go for it. We might use it. We might use it later on. But yeah, the, the threat of uh, if we knew they weren't playing Crushing Hammer, then we would definitely throw it out. But we know they are playing Crushing Hammer, so we don't want to throw it out. That's basically what's going on here. We know they play the Crushing Hammer. <laughs> so it makes like if they just get a heads here, then for me to attack, I have to have gotten like Vile Plume here and Quick Ball the way Vile Plume and then put three energy in play that way that's awkward because then um on the next turn i'm trying to get to six energy and if still they don't replace my stadium with a swell or we can't find our swell it just kind of continuously gets worse and worse for us so i think this is just going to be the better way to go there's that escape rope i was talking about so if i had just not if i had not benched this mewtwo we would have been in trouble there um so that's why we benched the mewtwo in the way that we did um yeah, so we bench this Mewtwo the way that we did. So that way, if we get escape rope, we don't have to find a way to move this Rillaboom. And now that it has a big charm, the air balloon won't help us move it. So um, that's why we played it like that. Um, but we want to get the, all the energy on this one. Is that like another problem with this setup? We don't want the energy on the active Mewtwo. Because once again, if they get a crushing hammer, then we're so much further away from this one actually being able to do the big GX attack. So hmm. how do I want to go about this? 
put quick ball for um quick ball for Guzmahala here. Quick ball for Eldegoss for Guzmahala, so give up the boss maybe. For Goss, which is not here. So you check your prize cards. So Goss isn't here. I don't want a dead a change for an air balloon or a Mal and Lana though. We just grab the cricket tune for now. I guess we're attacking with the active. I had the capture for the cricket tune, I guess. So I didn't need to do that. So I guess we'll attach a grass, keep the capture around just in case I want to use it later. Yeah, this is looking like one of those games where we might just not be able to GX attack, to be honest. So gonna go with the calming hurricane. All we got going on here. Yeah, we might just not be able to GX attack this game, which really sucks. It really sucks to not be able to GX attack uh, for the full effect, because that like is our line in the matchup. But who knows? Maybe our opponent draws a little bit awkwardly as the game continues. And yeah, it looks like they had the E-switch the whole time, but they're actually moving it to the Zacian. Oh no, I fear that there's a rusted sword in my opponent's hand and our Mewtwo is about to go down. That would be terrible. Yeah, uh, I mean, they need a couple pieces still. They need a switch card for the ADP. Uh, they just discarded a boss, so I'm not super scared of them chasing my Rillaboom here, although they could still have that play. They could still have boss Rillaboom. Um, they E-switch to the bench and it looks like they're lining up Dede Chain. Just makes me think they have rusted sword in hand. But I guess they could not have Rusted Sword in hand and have just gone this route, which would be curious for sure. Um, they're just hoping to hit the... Yeah, there's a Quick Ball away. Another boss just grabbing another ADP. So they don't have the Rusted Sword yet. They've just moved. They're just giving up on Ultimate Ray, though, it looks like. And going super aggressive for a Rusted Sword line of play, which, to be honest, is not super likely that they hit. They need a Switch card. They need another Energy. They need the Rusted Sword. I mean, maybe they're playing a higher than average Rusted Sword count. Usually it's just like one Rusted Sword in ADP decks. Maybe they're playing two or three or four or... Apparently they, <laughs> they definitely didn't hit the play. And apparently the hand was pretty bad. Yeah, they were like super aggressive. If I was them, I would have settled for an Ultimate Ray. Kind of go from there. But yeah, they got super aggressive for absolutely no reason. And we take down another ADP with the Rillaboom and um yeah let's get into another one all right here we go again this time we won the coin flip uh but we're gonna go second still anyways uh keep going second always going second uh got the rallon executor start got the the capture energy got the cricket tune off the rip as well if we want to utilize that uh early on for some draw our opponent mulligan so that's always great get plus one card looks like we're up against single strike here I have no idea how this matchup goes, to be honest. I have no clue uh, what this entails and how it's going to go. Um, but we'll see. Oh, an another hand with just like a lot of grass energy off the start, which is just not very good. We don't want this much energy off the rip. Okay, we can actually win turn one here. Um, this is actually weak to grass. So, oh my gosh, do we go for it? I think we go for it. I think it's worth the, the meme of it all. So let's go for it. <laughs> We're going for the dog here. As long as it's in there, Buzz Mosa. But we have to go for the Dene here, actually. And then we have to hope we get a tank call. I'm going for it, though. I'm going for it. I'm feeling it. Let's do it. I got nothing better to do today than go for a donk on a Houndour. We donk with anything else. No, it has to be the Jet Punch or the Beast Game. Yeah, it is weak to grass. So, yeah, let's get it. I'm going to throw this down, this down. We need a Mal and Lana anyways. And then Dede Change, rip the hand away. Let's go for this donk then that's it <laughs> all right guys i think that's also going to do it for the games with the riddle boom today as we close this game out with a donk on my opponent's hound hour um hope you enjoyed them the deck is sick i'm having a ton of fun with this build of the riddle boom deck um so definitely recommend you guys check it out and uh yeah i'll see you guys uh tomorrow <laughs>